day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. The thing, the thing that's so is that you know, with the lack of compassion, with the lack of power, and that's where I see Jesus taking us. There was there was no compassion and there was no power. They yeah. could not. He said he had compassion on the masses and healed them of their all, all their well, He yeah. had compassion on the masses and drove demons out of people. And he had compassion on the masses on their blinded eyes. So the prerequisite or the or the setup was love had to be in play first. You, it wasn't, it wasn't, no doubt shall not ever healed anybody. We didn't even try to do that in Old Testament. That was not a part of the scenario. Jesus brought that in when right? he came in. Exactly. He brought in mercy. He brought in compassion. Now, yeah. now he, and, and it's, if there was no need for us to like overlook sin, why would he need mercy? Exactly. We need a mercy. If, 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 and if, grace. I'm sorry. And grace. Yes. Well, so so that mean, was that. It was done in the beginning. Sin, right. sin was overlooked at at the time that God interacted with Adam after he did what he did. There was oh, love, you. there was compassion, and 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 there there was still a union, but it wasn't a connected spiritually union. God right. still interacted with Adam. And his children and mankind through all out of this through the whole time of this creation. Uh -huh. So, you know, it. it was always there. It was God has always been there and he's always been available. We just have not connected. And God had to actually show us our state of mm -hmm. mind, state of being state of action and then show us how we needed to be in yes. order to, to reconnect with him and so christ came no different than god came back to the garden it's it's all the same thing because if god did not come if he just saw that man was in a fallen state and just not interacted that would have been it that would have been it. Yeah. And mankind would have just been done with. I mean, you've seen the, the, the first, no, it, it, the first interaction back. with with two of his children. Man. Yeah. <laughs> How that, that, you, you, you know, you know, the scripture said that, that was in play prior to the fall. Uh, it, 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 that just came to my mind. He saw them fall before they fell. He, and Christ was on the chalkboard before. The earth was created yeah, before the foundation of this before world. Before the foundation of the earth, so God the had thought, His mind to at the thought of let us make man. Yep. And all that was already in in, in the already in place. So, oh, you yep. know, uh, so that is the, the the attitude that we have to have. I think adopt toward each other. You know what I'm saying? Always prepared to be compassionate and forgiving and merciful. And right. he told them that in the one city, he said, you have forgotten the greatest thing. You tied men and anus in common. You tied of men and anus in common and have forgotten the weightier matters, mercy and judgment. And, 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 that, and that's what he was telling them, the scribes and Pharisees, why don't you scribes and Pharisees? You? So he, he's, everything, it seems like love is the foundation. I had to go back to that, I'm back on the CIT again. That is the foundation of all that we do. It is, it's the superstructure, it's the foundation, it's everything. Because that's what motivated the Father, who is love, to act on our behalf initially, right. while we were yet sinners. Yeah. So our approach toward another person, if we are not approaching them from that perspective, from ministry, we really have no reason to talk to them. Yeah. And, and we know whether we're being motivated by love of that person or not. Right. And I think and I think that's it. And I want to inject with the fact that I said I wanted to say is that it's, it's a re we celebrate independence and we're also now celebrating daily. But for believers to understand we are now celebrating 
We're free from the law of death. Sin and death. Sin and death. Yeah. You know, and, and, and one of the one of the things is with the fact is that that we're no longer bringing forth fruits unto death, but unto life. Right? And 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 here's a point I want to throw in here. Look at it. I want to the reason I say it's a day of celebration or reminders or independence. If we look at this uh when we move from seven to eight. Right? Look at that, look at that, that, that is scripture. There's therefore, see, because I think we walk in condemnation because the, the law brings condemnation, right? The law brings death, right? Let's see. Ooh, uh, me snorting it, guy. <laughs> well, well, no, no, Tom. <laughs> it brings bring forth death with the celebration of Christ that came to your life. See, when Paul went through all of seven, he shifted to eight. What well, says there's no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who walk not after the flesh. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah. For the so, law of the spirit in life of life in Christ Jesus. Freedom is has made me free from the law of sin and death. That's how yes. I is, you know, but as I'm trying to say that this, this just, I'm trying to incorporate the fact there's our independence, our independence for this country, the 4th of July. It does, independence does not mean I don't still have to get up and work, plow the garden, build the buildings, maintain the buildings, maintain the government, maintain an army. You know what I mean? I still have to do the things I'm supposed to do. But I, I'm free to do it. I'm not compelled to do it by the law. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. So therefore, I, I like to say for, for what the law, and the, the first three even said, Elder, for what the law could not do. It could not do. And that it was weak through the flesh. In other words, I, that's what I wanted to say when I tell the bishop about dominion. I was just saying is that sin does not have dominion over us. No longer does it have dominion. It had it had dominion over us under the law. Under the law. Because we had not been baptized in the Holy Ghost. So exactly, exactly. We Otherwise, were, it was weak to the uh, to, it was weak through the flesh, right? Through the flesh, it was weak. Exactly. <laughs> the only thing it actually brought to us was condemnation. <laughs> and that we were aware that we were wrong. Exactly. And we couldn't do a thing to stop it. It's like, oh man, I messed up again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you messed it, up it, again. And the like, sad yes, thing about did. it. Yeah, and the sad thing about it though is that we we condemn ourselves. Yeah, that's the first like, that's the first place that we go wrong. Yeah, we condemn ourselves. We got people condemning us. You know, brother Adams, I'm saying is let's get people to understand the gospel. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ. There is now. Right now. Right. If we don't have to now. wait. <laughs> we, we, so it's almost like every every time we do the resurrection, Passover, uh, even a celebration of Christmas, either a celebration of 4th of July, or any other day, we've been delivered from the law because we need to, because we need grace in mercy mm -hmm. and then we got to show that grace and mercy to one another because see how many people are turned off because we we condemn them i, I, I think that when a person you remember the scripture that says no man coming to me except to be drawn to the father drawn, yes sir yes sir no man coming to me except to be drawn to the father so the one thing i began to realize why there was no need to really beat up on people was, because they ain't coming away. I mean, if, they, if you're not drunk, they ain't coming. And, and 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 if they are coming, your comments don't have to be harsh. Exactly. Your, your comments don't have to be anything but informative. You know, right. like how do you establish the relationship with the Lord? And, right. and I believe that that is the focus because the gospel is gospel reconciliation, not the gospel of freedom from homosexuality or freedom from lying and cheating or, or adultery and stuff like that. Even though that relationship will free you from that. Right. Um, right. But it, it is not that message that is given. 
No, it's not. So it's a relationship with, with the Father, the Creator, who initially made you to have fellowship with Him, and now here we have it. We've been restored, accepted. Yeah. And let's yeah. see where we go from there. Where's the bitch? I think it was at, but I was say last week or a couple of weeks ago, we, we pull a, a okie doke or roby doke or something. Yeah, like that. okie doke. Okie doke. <laughs> we get them in, bitch, elder. We had the doors of the church are open. Yeah. All things will be good once you come into the door. And so we get them in and then we put them in a cage real quick and say, you supposed to do this, you supposed to do that. You're wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, even worse, it's like your 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 life is to sustain this local church, and that's that's what you're 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 volunteering for. And that's an unfortunate thing because the reconciliation was to the Father, and even the discipleship itself was to the Lord. Right. So, but we did not use either one of them as a pattern uh, or, or as a goal lot. No. We don't, and we still don't. We do. And, we yeah, have we, to. We, we, we come up to. with our bylaws and laws, and, <laughs> yeah, and then we say, y'all got to do this in order to be a part of this organization. <laughs> and then even take it further and saying that, okay, this, we know that this is what the Bible says, but we, had, we added this right here, too. So y'all going to have to buckle down and do this as well. Same folks got to get circumcised. <laughs> like, just like in the old day, man. So we really are. We come full circle. We try to. We were right back with the scribes and Pharisees were. I mean, even in the last dispensation, even in, in, in the ministry of the Son of Man, we have gone all the way back to the full circle. We try to, you know, because it, it, see, look, God hasn't, Christ hasn't, oh, the message hasn't. We have. We try yeah. to come up with the message because look at that last one, brother. As it not last one, but verse six. Look at that verse six. Say what is verse six? Say to you. Or to be carnally minded is death. Yeah. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And you know people want peace, right? <laughs> we, so we want to be able to tell them, Elder, is the fact that when you come in here, you have peace and nobody can take your peace. Because what is that, Philippians? The peace that passes all understanding, meaning I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter how you think of me, right? It matters how God thinks of me, but it doesn't matter how you think of me, and it doesn't matter how I think of myself. Isn't that important? It does not matter how you think of me. We need to understand the independence, like today, is that I am no longer under the bondage of laws of sin and death. I am free from that, not to sin, willfully not even to sin <laughs> intentionally or unintentionally but i've been free now with the grace and mercy brother as that's what i'm saying is people need to understand coming to the gospel coming to christ mm -hmm. and let christ work with you and have that love have that compassion because that's what he wants to give our country right now is in a in in, in a crossroad of, of moving forward with freedom and democracy or back to a condition where we 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 put each other down the laws of what is that uh, you know at before you came in i showed an elder the uh the scripture where i was showing that uh let me see if i can put it back up here I was putting up here, brother, I said, the beginning of the slide, because I said I may want to try to use that all the time. You, you see what it says in verse Matthew 12, 25. Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. In every city or house, meaning even, and this applies to your jobs, this applies to your, you know, your own household. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Divided against itself shall not stand. And what we want to do sometimes, and even in today's politics, is to try to bring in division where it's not about being a Democrat, it's not about being a Republican, it's about being one nation under God, indivisible, right? Is what's that? What's that? How you say it? 
what is it? One nation under God, individual with liberty and justice for all. What, what's individual mean? Indiv what? Indivisible, you can't, you can't break it apart. Whoa. <laughs> so, so you see what I'm saying is, it's, it's unity in faith. Unity. Yeah, there is. There is unity. Come on, Believe man. Me, can, can I put this? Can I speak this out there? Yeah. You, I, that you are, is, you it says, you know, the scripture that says that follows that, it says, except the house, you know, except the Lord build the house, they, they labored in vain that built it. Except wow. the Lord build the house, yes, they labored in vain that built it. Yeah. So it's all, it's all, it's under the, I, the direction of the Spirit of God, under the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is actually working in and through us yes. to bring us together in unity. Yes, so sir. our focus at Pentecost was him. We were, we were praying. We were having a committee meeting. Come Nobody on had a tablet. I, I can imagine no one had a tablet. But when the Holy Ghost came in, <laughs> it, it, he filled with every last one of us. Come on. And despite the differences in languages, yes. he brought unity. Just like yes. at the Tower of Babel, despite Woo. this. Come on, sir. Polarity. Oh, yeah. He brought the people working together. He, he brought, he, he brought, he was in control. Yeah. All we had to do was listen to the cadence. Who was calling cadence? Who are we listening to? Woo. If we're listening to Jesus, we're going to all march in the same. Come on. He's phrasing up on us, right? Mm hmm. A little bit, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But, 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 uh, Word that, out. that first love. Yes, sir. Get to play that. You got to have Christ first. And then all the rest of the stuff is born out of that. And you hear we will experience unity. Because I think if we're not united in him, if we're not united in him, I think he fights against us. Well, I think so too. Well, well I, you I have know, to fight against us. Go ahead. So when you, when you we're back to, to Matthew, when you, you look at a house divided against itself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, there is there's nothing more divided than the church on Sunday. We're preaching now. Right. I mean, I, I just, I'm just being real. Yes, sir. So yes. how can it stand? Come on now. It's not standing. It's so, the, 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 so obviously the, these churches are, are, not, are, are not it. That's not it. That's not the will of God. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just saying, how, how can it be? It, just from that statement. Well, in you that know, statement I, alone. I think I think now if, if maybe the denominations is one thing, but the you know with the people have various locations the fellowship anyway, right? If they're not if they're not trying to condemn another ministry because they're worshiping at another location under a different doctrine, they ain't talking about doctrine, I guess we call it administration or something. Administration stuff. If, if, if they're not putting them down, maybe we're not saying that they're they're divided. You know, they're all preaching Christ Jesus, but they have to also preach. Are they? That's why I hope they are. I mean, because I think people preach Christ Jesus, but there are many people, most people, who don't preach listening to his voice. Well, most churches you, you would say, teach some form of Christ, but they don't. Even, mm. We don't instruct each other listening to his voice, and that's the problem. Some form of Christ. Yeah. That's the problem. He's so that, when you say they're 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 teaching Christ, my, my question is always, are they? I think you I know, think and, I, and, and if they're not, then how could they be in that oneness? Well, see, because it says the division though means that if I'm dividing means I'm against you and all just for me, right? That's that's division. If it, I if but, go ahead. See my my this is this is my thing, and I'm just. This is just Myron, uh, based on what I see and in, in my understanding. Many churches have an agenda, and some topics that are are taught have nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, to do with the will of God. Yeah. Yeah. Or the word of God. 
Yeah, they want to control. And even though they will use scriptures, it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the word of God or the will of God. It's all about the word of man and the will of man using the word of God. That's true. So, so yeah. it's no different than money. Yeah. Money yeah. is not evil in and of itself. It's not. But it can produce evil. Right. Likewise, there is no evil in the word of God. But it could be used to produce evil things, which is to control man, to 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 use God's word as a as a as a tool a business. Control, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. To to yeah. turn it into a business, yeah. to turn it into a controlling uh something to control people right you know or or to hold people uh at bay yeah um so that's a problem that that is there, a problem. there there is the vision there and so if if you're not teaching Christ him crucified and this 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 new this, this gospel, this you're, you're not teaching love, right? And, and how, how, how can you say that you're not divided exactly? And, and I think, like you said, is that if we're not teaching, see, Christ died is an act of love, right? So that's what John yeah, 3 yeah, that's what you said. No greater so, love than man has, he laid out his life for a And so, the full gospel is about love the love of god and the love to one another and if we're not teaching we become off message of that that's where we get into trouble that's where the division comes from because we're not showing love toward one another the, the, and, go ahead I, can we ever get to that point without having that relationship with the lord you, you see what i'm saying and and, and is that relationship is, is a relationship outside of that that construct him first and then everything else and him actually showing everything together that acceptable in his sight it appears to me to be that his concern is that you become one with him first and because he says how can you love your brother that you see every day and i mean and love god who you never see but you can't love your brother so it's like that necessity for us to have christ in us to love our brother is an indication that we are in Christ. He said, you, yeah. There's one scripture that said no. that you, he'll know that you are of the Father because the love that you have for the brother. One one another. Right. Right. So we we, we got to have that in us, but we got to have him in us first. Yeah. So uh, this is the mistake that I made. Mm -hmm. I talked people about God. You know, I, I, from scripture, you know, we went to scripture and we talked. We use circumstance situations in their lives to get them in right standing with God, right? Or have them in a place where they can make money or get a better job, or have a better family, something like that. <laughs> I had all the external stuff going on. I did. But I did not help them nurture their relationship or even give them a vision of what a relationship with God looked like. Right. We didn't we didn't, didn't hold out each other's feet to the fire. We did a lot of studies. Um, we applied it to our everyday living. But we did not disciple the person to the Christ to the point that the conversation between that, that disciple should be one-on-one -on -one with God. That, that is the point that we're really trying to get to for each and every individual is that they have a relationship with God where they're talking to him. He said, my sheep, is it know my voice? And another they, they were not following. Hear. They hear my voice. And another they were he was doing that problem. Now this sounds like some kind of some I, I don't I don't it may sound like a farce or a fairy tale or something, but we don't shoot for that. She we don't really go for that. It's like, did you hear from God today? Uh no, I didn't hear from God today. <laughs> or, or they'll say, Yeah, the pastor said. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, that's one and we did it, man. I'm telling you. Because I, I try to go back and try to look at some of the errors that we made. And it's like, man, I thought if you read it in the book, you were going to be able to do it. So you go out there laying hands on people and nothing happens. 
We spread for people and they died anyway. Yeah. He's down like, wait, wait a minute, something wrong here. What is it? And then you get that little boy saying, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do that. You just kind of took that up on your own. <laughs> so his, and his, I want I want to dare up. I think I think just say if I hear I hear a lot about the relationship and I agree with you all about the relationship with God. But isn't it lost in the message about the relationship with your fellow man? No, no, no. See, the, 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 the relationship with the Lord will establish the foundation for your relationship with your fellow man. Yeah, but it I is. Mean, I can say without a doubt. I knew how to love myself before I knew the Lord. Yeah, Thank but, you. And, 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 I, and, I, and I wanted to diminish that. But when does it, I, is it are they separate or are they in parallel, though? I don't think they can yeah. be in parallel. You don't think so? No. The Let's, reason I say they can't be in parallel is because I don't have the capability to do that. You, I mean, I, I, I can I can have admiration for you. I might have respect for you. I might honor you. But I can't love you if I don't know the Lord. You know, I'll love be you. And, and the love that, that he's looking for is, is agape, unconditional. Yeah. yeah. It's unconditional. And you can't do that until you understand that. You can't understand that until you understand the love that God has for you. Amen. The love that Christ has for you. But then you have to understand how you can love yourself under unconditionally to that you are not condemning yourself. But yep. and, and only think, after you can do that can you love someone else that way. <laughs> I think I think I, I agree, but John three sixteen said God so loved the world, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. that He gave His only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. yep. that, that implies to me there is a parallel with the love toward God and the love toward your fellow man and toward yourself. In other words, he at least said that I agree with you, brother Addison. Is if I'm not to love myself, I am short. Right, I'm, I got a shortcoming right there because mm -hmm. it's hard for me to love my fellow man. If I hate myself, then I'm gonna love, I'm gonna hate my fellow man as I hate myself, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right, yep. but as I create a relationship with God, one part of my understanding of his relationship is that he loved the world, and the only reason I'm really talking about is treating people, you know, with respect. Uh, with, with not hate, with mercy, not selfishness. You know what I mean? In other words, somebody thou should not commit adultery is in, in line with love because if I commit adultery, and see, a lot of cases when we think about the word adultery, we always think about adultery with somebody else, right? Somebody else's wife, right? Mm -hmm. But, but, we never try to sit there and just kind of narrow that down to not have committing adultery with somebody that's part of your family. That has happened, right? There's in-laws, you know, a brother sleep with a brother's wife, mm -hmm. right? Or, or a friend that, because you ever seen, what's, the, what's going to happen when that happens when a friend commits adultery or Date the guy's girlfriend. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's wide, yeah. wide open. So many yeah, things man. can happen. If yeah. you're walking in Christ, if, you, if you're abiding in Christ, then forgiveness is on the table. Reconciliation well, is on the, the table. But I agree with the forgiveness part. I'm just yeah. saying the other is that the, the I think it, it's it got to be a parallel a little bit. Maybe not. He's first, right? The first love. The first yeah, love. He's, yeah. But, but the question is, I don't know how much I, reason I want it parallel. At least I'm, I'm encouraging being parallel because I don't know how long it, brother. Has, how long does it take you to get the agape love? Well, that's how part long? of the process, right now. Yeah. That, how long is it? How long are you committing yourself into renewing your mind? Well, you know, that, that yeah, there you go. That that's, relationship that's, yeah, with God. Okay. And Jesus Christ is imperative uh -huh. to move <laughs> forward in this lifestyle. If you we, don't have that relationship, then you will soon find yourself trying to fulfill the law. 
the Bahamadic brother, the relationship, uh, what I'm trying to say, guys, on the emphasis of the neighbor. I, 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 I think 